Praise the Lord. My goodness. You know, I love the fact that um, God gave me a Chinese wife, then he gave me a Chinese spiritual language as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start off with the USP, please. Ever repeat after me. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I'm not aware of any sins. I'm not aware of any sins. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for cleansing me. Thank you for cleansing me. Of all unrighteousness. Of all unrighteousness. According to 1 John 1 9. According to 1 John 1 9. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Great. Well, we started last week with how to get more blessings, and we did that as a part one, and last Wednesday, part two, so we're going to be continuing and completing that teaching with part three. It's going to be really great. I'm going to do a very quick recap for those of you that might have missed it, and uh, a lot of people, after they pray for uh, a request to God, a petition, they say amen. And between the amen and when they get the manifestation of the answered prayer, there is a gap. And in that gap, a lot of people try to stay in faith, but sometimes they're waiting on the Lord and they might be waiting incorrectly without realizing it. So we wanted to help people know how to get more blessings. And one of the things is to do a double check and to make sure that you're not... Um, you know, getting weary and well-doing. And so if anybody has been um, postponing something or procrastinating or being in complacency or slowing down um, or actually rushing, both are a sin as well because we shouldn't be in haste um, or having any deferment, disappointment, discouragement, or depression, feeling like giving up or quitting, uh, that is an attack of the devil, and that is not the right way to wait for the things of God. And if someone is in discontentment, that's a form of lack of faith or doubt and unbelief, and um, it is also impatience. So I'm just going to give you a few moments that if any of you have felt any of those things attacking you, although you're a person who is in faith, but maybe... Um, you know, the devil was trying to uh, frustrate you in any way, shape, or form, and feeling hopeless, and, oh, you know, are my prayers going to come to pass? Um, just take a minute and confess those as sin. So I'm just going to give you a moment. Okay, we're going to move forward, and the right way to wait uh, for your blessings is waiting upon the Lord. That's the right way to get more blessings. And uh, we had talked about Daryl Strawberry, how he had an incredible testimony of after his life was ruined and he had a lot of defeats in his life and he had challenges uh, with uh, drugs, I believe. He had an incredible comeback when nobody thought he could make it. God knew he could. And he had to wait a long time, but he waited in faith, and he, he did something about it. He uh, read the word. He got himself um, to a point where he was strong in the Lord and under his pastor and, and being guided by the Holy Spirit. He did everything he could so that when the answer to his prayers uh, were manifested, that he had that glad expectation. So waiting correctly is uh, doing exactly that, uh, what Isaiah 40, 31 says. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew your strength. If you feel weak, you feel tired, then God is renewing your strength today. And you shall mount up with wings as eagles. You're going to be running and not be wearing and weary. And you shall walk and not faint in Jesus' name. And God has his promises there. Uh, that are true. They're always true. So I believe that you are going to see that um, in your lives and starting today, those of you that have been having challenges and that you're learning to be content, uh, like it says in Philippians 4.11, and that you do have faith and you're working it with patience according to the Word of God. And that's when promotion can come. 
through contentment, the word says. And hope deferred makes the heart sick. But no, your hope is no longer deferred because we are remembering that the word of God is a tree of life and our desires are fulfilled with God's word. And God says he will restore and replace the years of devastation that the locust has eaten. That the latter glory of your house, the latter days of your life, shall be greater than the former in Jesus' name. And these are promises that God is making to you. And uh, this is how you'll get more blessings. And uh, uh, Pastor James says more blessings um, will be um, uh, ours. And it will be better than before in 2024. Amen? Amen. Yes. More blessings. Blessings are renewed every morning. More blessings. I don't think anybody will disagree with this statement. We can all use more blessings. <laughs> so let's start here. More blessings, part two, C. More blessings you can re get to rebuild better than before. Amos 9. Captivity of foreign land brought to an end the old division between the northern state of Israel and the southern state of Judah. God brought and reunited the people back to their land where they lived in security and prosperity. Now, Unfortunately, the church is divided right now. You know, uh, it doesn't matter if you're Methodist, Baptist, Evangelical, it doesn't matter. You're still part of the body of Christ. Catholics are part of the body of Christ, okay? But we've got to quit fighting each other. We need to work together to defeat our common enemy, Satan, and his one-third of angels that he has brought down to this earth to fight us. And the challenge is that we need to do it as a unit, together. And that's what this means. You know, one of my favorite verses is, a house divided cannot stand. Okay? And we need to focus on that and become more unified. Okay? Yeah, because um, it, it's your favorite verse because you want unity. And we bind up division so that we could uh, be in one accord and be in agreement and in harmony so that everything that we imagine to do will not be withheld from us, that it will be accomplished in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so Matthew 12, 25. And Jesus said to him, Any kingdom that is divided against itself is being brought to desolation and laid waste, and no city or house divided against itself will last or continue to stand. They inhabit the waste or the ruined cities, rebuilt planted vineyards and made gardens, and they flourish with abundance, and they plant on their land, and God told them they would never again be uprooted from the land that God had given them. And God gave the United Israel exiles more blessings than they were freed from, from captivity because they became obedient and started to seek God for help. <coughs> What's the key word here? Seek God for help, or seek God first, which of course is the theme of us for right now, this season. Seek God first. Okay. Yeah, praise the Lord. Matthew 6, 33, we seek God first, the kingdom of God first, and he will do what? He will add all these things unto us, meaning that he will give us everything that we need if we seek him first. So we had a, um, a three-day fast, uh, and um, we were seeking God more diligently. We were giving more quality time to God and giving up things of the world and uh, which we normally should do as a lifestyle, but making sure that nothing was sneaking in, we could, uh, you know, um, have more time with the Lord during those three days. And it's, it's glorious when we're able to um, have those appointment days with God at, that are even longer than normal and, and more than normal. It's wonderful. Now, we go to letter D. Are there dreams or goals that were tossed or seem stagnated? or hindered that have not been producing successful fruit, like in Amos 9, 14 through 15, when the Israelites returned and found deserted and ruined cities? Is there something in your life that you really thought was God? Um, you got to make sure that those dreams and goals are from God and aligned with Him, because if they're not, they will wither up and dry up, because God's uh, blessing isn't on it. And so, instead of saying, God, will you bless this for me? And try to find out if that's uh, the way that he wants you to go. You should find out first. Get a confirmation it is from the Lord. And then 
uh, you basically don't have to bless it because everything that God does is blessed. Everything that God does is good. So therefore, if you are in obedience to him, you're in alignment with him, the blessings will automatically run to overtake it and bear fruit and be successful in that area. That's how you're going to see um, if there are hindrances because it's the devil and you're for sure it's the it's God, then God will uh, help get rid of it because if you're a tither then he's the one that rebukes the devourer on your behalf uh, because you are a tither so um, you might want to write down on a piece of paper right now any areas that you still have unanswered prayer in completion any area that you don't have full manifestation of what you have asked God for and um, we are going to be in agreement with you that God will confirm that uh, what you've asked for him as a goal uh, is actually for him, from him, and for him. See, someone might think it's for uh, a good cause, but if it's a, a goal that isn't kingdom-minded, then um, it, God might not be blessing that, but might have something else that he wants you to do that is blessed. So God always replaces for better, okay? And um, are there things that you've been believing for that you really need and you have seen hindrances and, or it's, it's taking longer than you thought and where we need more patience, but know that when you had prayed it and you asked one time that um, you believed it when you received it and so it's yours and you're waiting for for that faith bridge, for it to come from heaven that's yours to you. It's the shipment coming to you. It's your shipment of your answered prayer. So write those things down right now, and we're going to believe God for those to have a breakthrough in this area, okay? Make sure those dreams and goals are from God and aligned with him. You know, I was listening to Jesse the Planis one time, and he's actually a very wealthy man. They were asking, well, how is he so wealthy? He says, I ask God what he's blessing, and that's where I invest. So ask God what in your life he's blessing, and that's what you need to go to, okay? Because if they're not, they will wither and dry up without God's blessings. I bet we've all been there before. <laughs> so what areas of your life do you want to rebuild? What old ruins repair and thought that were desolate and caused depression and discouragement? And depression and discouragement is rampant in the Christian community now, especially after COVID. COVID split the Christian community up immensely. We were talking to some pastors. Their churches are down 50, 60, 70% because we got away from going to church and they got comfortable at home or they have to work more now because of inflation. You know? So the idea is let's bring the Christian community back together. Let's pray together as a unit. And as we do that, victory's going to start coming because what does the animal kingdom do? They try to separate. What does Satan try? He tries to separate people out and they can attack them when they're alone. All right, so when you have that confirmation of your goal, then you're going to move a full speed ahead and run towards uh, that mark of your high call and press forward for it, right? So um, let's affirm this together. Amos 9, 14 through 15, the Amplified, and Isaiah 61, 4, we combine these scriptures to make an affirmation. And... Um, if you uh, agree with this affirmation, then repeat it with me, please. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The goals and dreams. The goals and dreams. Given to me. Given to me. By God. By God. Is, uh, is being, are being built, rebuilt. Are being rebuilt. To produce. To produce. Abundant fruit. Abundant fruit. Which means. Which means. It will be exceedingly successful. It will be exceedingly successful. In addition. In addition, God has firmly, God has firmly planted me, planted me where He wants me to be, where He wants me to be in my land, in my land, and I am fulfilling my calling, and I am fulfilling my calling, and I will not be uprooted, it will not be uprooted from what God has given me, what God has given me, and everyone that agrees says, Amen. Amen. Praise you, Lord. So now we're going to do some affirmations and agree together 
with these scriptures because there's so much power in agreement. See, unity is a, a spiritual law. But when you couple and combine the prayer of agreement and intercession together, it is such a, a multiplication of that uh, unity. It makes it exponentially more powerful and more accelerated. So we're going to agree with each other together today with that corporate anointing, okay? Okay, so repeat after me, please. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God's name is always sanctified. God's name is always sanctified. As I proclaim him. As I proclaim him. And I am not ashamed. And I am not ashamed. Of the gospel. Of the gospel. All nations shall know. All nations shall know. That he is my God. That he is my God. And I give all glory. And I give all glory. To him. To him. In everything I do. In everything I do. Okay. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For giving us our own land. For giving us our own land. Our own place. Our own place. Where you want us to be. Where you want us to be. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For cleansing me. For cleansing me. As my life. And my life. And my life. Thank you. As well as. As well as. <laughs> giving me a new heart. Giving me a new heart. And putting a new spirit. And putting a new spirit. Within me. Within me. For you have taken. For you have taken. The heart of stone. The heart of stone. Out of. Out of. My flesh. My flesh. And given me. And have given me. A heart of flesh. A heart of flesh. So let's go to number four and affirm Joel 2. 25 to 26. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am grateful, Lord. I am grateful, Lord. That you have been restoring. That you have been restoring. Or replacing. Or replacing. For me. For me. The years of devastation. The years of devastation. That the locust has eaten. That the locust has eaten. And I am thankful. I am thankful. That your blessing. That your blessing is upon me. Is upon me. And my loved ones. And my loved ones. So that we can eat in plenty. So that we can eat in plenty. Be satisfied and be, praise. Be satisfied and praise. Your name. Your name. Our God. Our God. For you have dealt wondrously with us. For you have dealt wondrously with us. And we your people. And we your people. Shall never be put to shame. Shall never be put to shame. Okay. Let's affirm Proverbs 6, 30 through 31. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The devil who is a thief. The devil who is a thief. Must restore. Must restore. Seven times. Seven times. What he stole from me. What he stole from me. He must also give me. He must also give me. The whole substance. The whole substance. Of his house. Of his house. That means. To me. To me. To me. Thank you. Give me a second. Thank you. That means. That means. That the devil must pay me back. That the devil must pay me back. Sevenfold. Sevenfold. The complete compensation. A complete compensation. For restitution now. For restitution now. Of everything. Of everything. He has ever stolen. He has ever stolen. From me. From me. Including. Including. Now. now we, we, we fill in your own blanks yeah, here. Fill in your blank. Like, you know what he's stolen from you. Example, uh, if he had stolen a challenge of your health, healing, your joy, reputation, or prosperity, or anything specific, go ahead and fill in that blank right now. We're going to give you a couple of moments. It's not just financial. It's everything. Mm -hmm. Relationships, time lost doing things, whatever it is, everything. Peace of mind, whatever. And we agree with you in Jesus' name. Okay, let's affirm Job 8, 7. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My future will be brighter. My future will be brighter. By far than my past. By far than my past. Hey, guy, 2, 9. The latter days of my life. The latter days of my life. Will be greater. Will be greater. And more glorious. And more glorious. Than the former. Than the former. And God will continually. And God will continually. Give me peace and prosperity. Give me peace and prosperity. Let's affirm Luke 6:38. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
When I give extra offerings above my tithes to God. When I give extra offerings above my tithes to God. It will be given to me. It will be given to me. Other people will pour into my lap. Other people will pour into my lap. A good measure. A good measure. Pressed down. Pressed down. Shaken together. Shaken together. And running over. And running over. For with the standard of measurement. For with the standard of measurement. I use. I use. It will be measured to me. It will be measured to me. In return. In return. And given back. And given back. With bonus and blessings. With bonus and blessings. Okay. Now let's affirm Ephesians 1.3. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be the God of our Father. Blessed be the God of our Father. Of my Lord Jesus Christ. Of my Lord Jesus Christ. Who continues to bless me. Who continues to bless me. With every spiritual blessing. With every spiritual blessing. In heavenly places. In heavenly places. In Christ. In Christ. And the last one. Let's affirm number 6, 24 through 26. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord blesses me. The Lord blesses me. And keeps me. And keeps me. He protects me. He protects me. Sustains me. Sustains me. And guards me. And guards me. The Lord makes his face. The Lord makes his face. Shine upon me. Shine upon me. With favor. With favor. And is gracious. And is gracious. To me. To me. Surrounding me. Surrounding me. With loving kindness. With loving kindness. And mercy. And mercy. The Lord lifts up his countenance. The Lord lifts up his countenance. Upon me. Upon me. Gives me peace. Gives me peace. And makes me prosper. And makes me prosper. Praise the Lord. And I believe that also includes 3 John 2, that he prospers us and make, uh, um, uh, he, and makes us in health uh, even as we prosper in finances, our soul prospers. Okay? So I believe that encompasses everything. Prosperity is not just finances like pastor james says but that we prosper in every area i just thank you right now lord god that you give each and every person more blessings than they've ever imagined or thought of or hoped of uh, i thank you or hope for i thank you lord god that the angels of god and powers of heaven uh, cause circumstances to change and line up right now so that these blessings are running to overtake each and every person because the tithers know who they are and Jehovah Sabaoth has rebuked the devourer on their behalf already because they tithe. But now we are ready for more blessings because we are waiting upon the Lord. We are waiting correctly. We are not going to be discouraged. We're not going to be dismayed. We are not going to be depressed. We are not going to give in to complacency. We're not going to postpone or procrastinate because we are in faith and patience. And we thank you, Lord, that we have that contentment that we are with you and in you and that whatever we have, we're grateful for. And we're not seeking the blessings. We're seeking you, the blessor. And we want to be the blessings to other people so that we can have it pour out of us whatever is being poured into our lap to give to the kingdom of God. And we are here to be a light to the world and to shed that light to the darkness. And we thank you, Lord God, that we rise up as with wings as eagles in Jesus' name. We will run in Jesus' name. We will not be weary. We shall walk. We shall not faint. Oh, Lord God, we thank you that we are a grateful people. And we thank you for more blessings so we could bless more people and do more for your kingdom in Jesus' name. And we can't do that, Lord God, if there's hindrances and there hasn't been manifestation of healings or finances or reconciliation or things that we need. So we call it done. It has been done when we prayed. Jesus said it's done. It's finished. And when we prayed and said amen and asked you, it was finished in Jesus' name. And we thank you that it is ours. The covenant promises of God are ours in Jesus' name. And we thank you and we say hallelujah that we're in glad expectation that we see in manifestation that which we see already with the eye of faith because it belongs to us and God has promised it and he never leaves us forsake us or forsakes us his word is true in Jesus name and thank you lord that we're not ashamed 
that Lord God, Isaiah 54, 17, that you vindicated us and shown to the world that you are our God and that what we believe in is really the real reality, not what other people see and think is a reality, but you are the only way, the true and the life, and that you use us now greater than before in Jesus' name. And everyone that agrees says, Amen. Amen. Thank you and God bless you. I love when you do that. This is fun. Hey, let's go back to Proverbs 6, 30, 31. That's where the devil is a thief, and he must restore seven times. I'll go back to this part here. The whole substance of his house to us. That's the wealth transfer in a nutshell. If the devil has it, I want it in the kingdom of God. And that's what we're going for. Everything that he has to take it away from him back to the rightful people, us, who God gave it to. In Jesus' name. Amen. I agree. I agree. Love you guys. Love you guys. God bless. God bless. Hallelujah. Let's do another unaware sins prayer before communion. And I hope you have your elements with you. So those of you that would like to repeat this prayer with me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I'm not aware of any sins. I'm not aware of any sins. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for cleansing me. Thank you for cleansing of me. Of all unrighteousness. Of all unrighteousness. According to 1 John 1, 9. According to 1 John 1, 9. Now, I'd like you to repeat with us this prayer um, as, as we go through communion. And we're also going to ask you to repeat the tithing prayer so that you will be... Um, speaking this out through your mouth and um, into the spirit realm. And the word of God is voice activated. We have to speak it to receive it. Amen. So say this with me. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. According to 1 Corinthians. According to 1 Corinthians. 11.24. 11, 11.24. 11, uh, that when you had given thanks. When you had given thanks. Uh, that Jesus broke the bread. Jesus broke the bread. And said, said, take, eat. Take, eat. This is my body. This is my body. Which is broken for you. Which is broken for you. Do this. Do this. In remembrance of me. In remembrance of me. And in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I do this. I do this. In remembrance of you, Lord. In remembrance of you, Lord. I come to your table. Come to your table. I remember your sacrifice. I remember your sacrifice. I thank you that your body. Thank you that your body was broken for us. Was broken for us. I thank you that your grace. Thank you that your grace is for me. Is for me. And drawing us closer to you. And drawing us closer to you. And drawing us closer one to an, uh, another. And drawing us closer one to another. In our church. In our church. In our family. In our family. Unifying us. Unifying like us. Like a three-stranded cord. Like a three-stranded cord. Which cannot be broken. Which cannot be broken. We are one in you. We are one in you. In communion with you. Communion with you. Our Trinity. Our Trinity. Our Heavenly Father. Our Heavenly Father. Jesus, our Son and Savior. Jesus, the Son and the Holy Savior. And Savior and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. I now take your body. I now take your body. And in doing so. And in doing so. I agree. I agree. And I receive. And I receive. That I have been healed. That I have been healed. By the stripes of Jesus. By the stripes of from Jesus. From the top of my head. From the top of my to head. To the soles of my feet. To the soles of my feet. Amen. Amen. We pray according to 1 Corinthians 11. We pray according to 1 Corinthians 11. 25 to 26. 25 and 26. When the supper was ended. When the supper was ended. He took the cup also saying. He took the cup also saying. This cup. This cup. Is the new covenant. Is the new covenant. Ratified and established. Ratified and established. In your time. In your blood. In your blood. As often as we drink. As often as we drink. It, sorry, as often as we drink it, as often as we drink it, we call God, we call God, affectionately to remembrance, affectionately to remembrance, for every time we eat this bread, for every time we eat this bread, and drink this cup, and drink this cup, 
We are representing. We are representing. And signifying. And signifying. And proclaiming. And proclaiming. The fact that the Lord's death. The fact that the Lord's death. Until he comes again. Until he comes again. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. For this precious gift of communion. For this precious gift of communion. As we partake of your blood. As we partake of your blood. Of the new and everlasting covenant. Of the new and everlasting covenant. For this is the covenant. For this is the covenant. We have made with you. That we have made with you. For eternal salvation. For eternal salvation. We pray. We pray. That we are all filled. That we are all filled. With your perfect love. With your perfect love. That casts out all fear. That casts out all fear. We also pray. We also pray. That we have the joy of the Lord. That we have the joy of the Lord. That strengthens us. That strengthens us. To go forth. To go forth and share your light with the world. And share your light with the world. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We take this cup of blessing. We take this cup of blessing. And we agree. And we agree. And we receive. And we receive. Because of the blood of Jesus. Because of the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. That the Holy Spirit. That the Holy Spirit. Who dwells in me. Who dwells in me. Quickens my mortal body. Quickens my mortal body. And restores it. And restores it. To the life of God. To the life of God. Amen. Amen. Now Pastor James is going to do 20 um, affirmations of 1 Peter 2, 24. Okay, so we're sitting in the we present, so we're all in agreement. Ready? We have we been, been healed, healed by, by the stripes, stripes of, of Jesus. Jesus. We, we have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. We have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. We have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. We have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. We have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. We have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. We have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. We have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. We have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. We have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. We have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. We have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. We have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. We have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. We have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. We have, we have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. We have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. We have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. One more. We have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. 